Well, it is Friday. You may have noticed, but we're now welcoming our favorite chef, Chef oh, Steven. Wow. But it's also his birthday <laughs> tomorrow. Happy wow. Birthday to you. Thank you very Here's much. Here's a cake for you. But also, okay, wait, there's <laughs> a story wait, behind this. Be I don't know I saw a slide if we can, like, tilt it down. No, sure Amanda, no, we're sharing the story. She tried to write happy birthday, Stephen. She missed the T and the H, so it said birthday at first. But then <laughs> it, like, Picasso kind of happened for us this morning, and oh, the nurse. icing kind of bled. So you have That's art. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you this very much. Art. This is an and original Amanda Mason, isn't it? <laughs> it really <laughs> That's is an <laughs> original Amanda Mason. We're going to put this yes. to the side. This is dessert yeah. after we we'll get set, to we'll set it down here. all the amazing things <laughs> that you brought for us today. But happy birthday. Thank we you love very you so much. much. We appreciate you. Awesome. And you brought tacos. Yes. I did, yes. <laughs> We've got our uh, Cookwell and Company Texas Ranch casserole. You buy that, you get our. Uh, Cookwell and Company tortilla soup. Now I've done the casserole before. That's my favorite thing, you know. Out of all my favorite things there in Cooking Connection, the Texas Ranch casserole mix, my absolute favorite. Because it reminds me of growing up down in South Texas, you know. Mm -hmm. King Ranch casserole was what we made. So, of course, growing up in the valley, it's my birthday, I feel like tacos. <laughs> and, uh, you we decided... Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So we decided to cook down some cabrito. Now, mm. uh, it's one of my favorite things. Again, growing up, that's what we would make, you know? And of course, we're making it almost like a ragu, very saucy. You braise it down to where it's nice and soft, throw some avocados with that. Ooh. So, you know, grab, a, grab a taco, dig in. Now you can do corn you tortillas, mm -hmm. you can do uh, flour tortillas. That's all up to you on what you want to do. I'm a huge fan of this because it's an easy casserole. Mm. Usually four items, which we're gonna make a casserole today, but in a little bit, you know. So, all we're doing, like I said, mm. cooking down some uh, cabrito, some baby goat. Of course, that's what it is. So, to, to those who don't eat it, you know, I apologize, but it's one of my <laughs> favorites. So, it's kind of like a, you know, treat yourself kind of thing today, you know. Yeah. Now, moving along real quick, we've also got our tortilla soup. What we're doing is we're cooking down some chicken till it's nice, for tender, really soft, pretty mm. much in the crock pot. You use your tortilla soup, add some queso fresco, some tortilla strips. So it's I almost like, like on here. exactly. It's almost like we're doing a tortilla soup taco. You know, I of like course. That. So, it, you know, if you're watching at home and it sounds good, awesome. Then hey, make it. If not, you know, I just figured it's been kind of hot outside. You know, tortilla soup mm. when it's hot outside, or some really awesome uh, chicken tacos. You know, what mm. would you rather go with? You know. So. I really like this, and it adds a lot of flavor to the chicken. It's very different. Mm. Yeah. But you could also use this as a soup and add exactly. chicken, corn, beans, different yeah. things to exactly. it. Exactly. Oh, amazing. The, the only difference is that I cooked it down just a little bit further to where it was nice and thick. Of course, it breaks down the protein of that chicken to where, again, you get that nice, soft, fork tender mm -hmm. uh, result out of it. So I'm a huge fan of it. Altogether, though, it's probably about... $17, $18 value that you're getting for only $8.99. Nice. Now, of course, those three bad words for, for kids, back to school, right. you know, this is a great way to make a really fast, easy meal, mm -hmm. you know, not break the bank and also help your kids with make, doing homework, watching oh, yeah. them, whatever the case is, you know, so lots going on there. I'm That's glad a you... a really good point to bring up, too. Yeah, I was just going to say I'm glad you cook better than the way that I design cakes, so <laughs> this is, <laughs> it's delicious. And it seems like you could pack this in your lunchbox too. Oh yeah, most definitely. If you pre if you prepare it, you can definitely uh, pack it for lunch. Uh, my only recommendation of, is, of course, keep your tortilla separate from your meat because, of mm. course, the meat will make your tortilla soggy. But soggy. you know, that that's just an easy uh, fix. You know. Just, All right. Well, yeah. I cannot wait to see what you have in store for us after a break. But before that, we have to take a quick look at weather. Yeah, you, you know, we're still looking pretty good out there.